Uh, this is the call the order of special meeting for city council on November 3rd. Um, roll call. All right, Mayor Eichhorst, missing. Um, Acting Mayor Jim Phillips. Here. And Councilor Jim Richards. Here. And Councilor Carl Clark. Here. Sorry. A little bit of a cold yet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'd like to make a motion to add an item to the itinerary that we have here, or the agenda before we get started, and that would be for item number three, and that would be for the approval of the scheduled pay increase for John Kingsley. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 So with that, I'd like to have the approval of the agenda. Make motion to approve the agenda. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Which is approved. Okay. Uh, the first item on the agenda is um, uh, city personnel. Um, is, uh, is there a motion to open up the discussion on the first item? I make a motion to, for discussion. Second. Okay. Um, go ahead, Jim, if you want to. Sure. So, the first bullet point is the posting of the open positions. Um, I'd like to make a motion that we go ahead and post the open positions. Um, I don't want to say all of them right now, but I I would like to get the city administrator replacement position posted, as well as the administrative assistant position. I know we have approval for an additional 1.5, but um, I would say, well, actually when the time comes, um, if, if it's warranted that we need it, I, say we'd be able to post that, but right now, post the two positions, the city administrator's replacement position and the administrative assistant replacement. We get a second on that? Well, discussion. Well, I need oh, a second, second and then we'll go okay, into Okay, I'll second. Okay, now it's open for discussion. Are we going to go for a city administrator or a city clerk? I'm not really sold that, you know, you would candidate to sure. get. Okay. Um, so we, we could go a couple different ways. We could go uh, with replacing with a city administrator or a city clerk administrator. And what the clerk administrator would bring us is the, the statutory side of things. Um, the other thing we could do is it depend, it's, it's going to be all dependent, I think, on the experience of the person. Um, because what we have found, there, there are some city clerks that are very seasoned that have the experience to cover it all. Um, so I think, the, and, you, and you'll see there's another agenda, uh, bullet under this, and I think, the, and that'll come up in that. Um, but I think we should have the latitude to look at how we want to fill it. But I, I would, I personally, I would say let's look at um, either city administrator or clerk administrator. That answer your question, Carl. Yep. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, all right. Um, with with that, um, 
Are you going to talk so, about the company that, that we'd like to look at, or how do you want yeah, to do that? Yeah, so that's or? our next bullet item, and, and we already voted on this one, right? No, we have to, because there was so, a motion on posting. Okay, then let's go ahead and, and for search for our administrator replacement and a vote on that. So, so to be able to post um, a replacement for the administrator, Right, so we voted on that one, which which was, yeah. and then this was no, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that I make a motion that we post for this um, administrative assistant position as well. Second. Second, okay. Vote, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So the next bullet item is is um, the search for the city administrator replacement. Um, what I would like to do, I, I'd like to make a motion that we use a service. And um, this service has been looked into quite a bit. Jim and I have looked into it. Um, we've contacted cities. There's a number of cities and counties that have used this service. Um, Byron, um, oh gosh, there's there's a whole page of them um, that have used this service and speak very highly of it. And what this service would do is this service, whichever position we decide to go with, and they will help us, um, they will post the positions for us. They will field the candidates. Um, they will interview, they'll do the the, the first rounds of interviews to flush out what they think are the best candidates, then they'll hand those to us to do our interviews. Um, and they'll also, they'll have alternate as well. And in case, uh, let's, I believe it was what, three? No, four. Four. And if one drops out, they'll have an alternate to put in it in the place. Um, so they'll they'll do the searches. They work with the LMC. They do all the marketing for it. Um, they they do everything. They background checks everything. So do we have, need to have a second for the motion? Okay. Right. What? So you have well, uh, he, so he, he no, a second. Yeah. Now it's open for discussion to go past that point. Okay, so we can get into the, a little bit more. Yeah, and so and with that, there there is obviously a charge for this, and I think we'll be fine because we are not paying. You know, we're down two staff right now, mm -hmm. um, so the charge for this one is what is it, uh, twelve or just over twelve thousand? So I. I would, in my motion, I'm going to amend my motion to be able to use a company and be able to spend up to 13,000 for our search. I, I think that, and, and um, we're still on discussion part that there is before we make a friendly yeah. amendment to what that is. Um, on the discussion, one of the things that came up too, um, besides what they do with, with the four that are gonna be coming in, that they'll, they'll give us the interview here is they'll also, if that person does not work out over a period of two years, right. the replacement for that person is free of charge for them to come back in. So they basically guarantee somebody that's gonna be here for, for the two years. Otherwise they'll come back in and take care of it. The other thing that I thought was really interesting with, with the way they do the interview process is once they bring the person in, they're going to take the other committees that there are with the city. So they're going to take the fire department, the first responders. Um, they'll take public works. They'll take you and they'll turn around and you'll interview these four different people. And you'll come up with what your evaluation is of what you think is the right person for that position. So it's not something that's just given right. that this is it, okay? So it allows all the input that there is to make sure we've got a good cohesive unit that there is that's working with that. 
and I'm sure we can also involve Sandpack or whatever else and, and Mike, but it would be the total group that gets a chance to look at these four different people and pick which ones we like or which one would, would, would be the best fit for us. And they work with our personnel committee as well. Timeline. Um, the timeline um, starts as soon as we can, but it would probably be, I'm um, just trying to think. Do you, do you have it I there, Jim? It. Wasn't it January? Um, so there was a timeline here. Yeah. Uh, but probably I think um, day one, day two. So they would have the four applicants sometime um, January 18th to 19th. And it might be off just a little bit because of our start time of what they had set up for their itinerary. Um, but then you'll have day one and day two of, of the interviews that we'll, we'll go through. Um, day two and three will be actually interviews and, and negotiate a contract. And then the city council will vote. So we're trying to bring everybody into the picture to make sure we've got a good fit for everybody what they, what they see. At, at the outside, and, and again, I mean, it, this was based on an immediate timeline. Um, in terms of approval, but um, the worst case scenario would be late March to have someone on board already, or you know, have someone hired. I, I heard a comment about you, Jim. You know, the, you might get with uh, Mike or Sante. No, the way we hire them, we ought to be looking at the city. You know, if right. they can't work with our staff, then maybe we got to look right. at somebody else. Well, that, that's my favorite. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I'll take that. It makes yeah. sense. I, I agree. It should yeah. be, it should it should be, be city internally. Yeah. Just internal. internal city staff, no, right. not contracted staff. Right. I think it should be city right. staff and personnel committee. And then, um, you know, the final would, would go to city council for approval, as we know, right? Yeah. So on, on that, and the name of the company is SCSC that we're talking about. Mm -hmm which is South Central Service Corporation. Um, he's out of North Mankato, Minnesota. Pretty knowledgeable guy. Um, so we were pretty impressed with our interview we had with him. So with that, you want to make a motion? Well, I think you did. Well, you made a friend. Now you need to make a friendly motion to, to yeah. have the other one. So. Yeah, so I make a friendly motion. Um, I make a friendly motion to include the price the ability to spend up to 13,000 and that we use SCSC as the, as the um, service company for yeah. the search. Okay. Okay. Um, vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 And so the third bullet point, um, just simply stated, um, I would I would uh, like I would like it if we could bring in a temporary fill in for at least one or two days a week to take some of the burden off Renee, um, someone who's well seasoned in this, and um, we have talked with somebody already. Um, and actually, we had interviewed this person before, um, uh, uh, before our previous city administrator was hired. So I would make a motion to bring in a temporary person. Um, and and I, I guess before I make that motion, I, I would ask Renee, how much time do you think you would like someone here for? Someone that's seasoned. Go no, ahead. you're you're talking about as a temp just a temp fill in to come in administrator. And be here. Is that what you're talking about, or right. temp position? someone? Actually, no, someone to fill the administrator. the administrator position temporarily, or I'll say fill the vacated position to help Renee out. It's not an admin assistant. Right, that's what be, I wanted to make. This is. 
So what we were kind of looking at for you, Renee, is right now you're kind of set where you don't really have somebody that you can go to to say, I got the question of what I do with this, okay? Mm -hmm. And so if that person was, was here maybe one day a week, but yet you were able to call them on the phone to ask questions of what was going on to make sure everything is done properly. Would would one day be it, or or what? What, what do you think? Because I mean, there's two different things we're looking at. This is for somebody that understands. Yeah, I think right off the from the start, you're probably going to want to have them in a little bit more to get familiar with what's going on and where we're at with things, and then reevaluate it and see. Um, because like Ryland's been in helping me a lot with stuff, mm -hmm. but he can't keep doing that. Well, um, we're we're looking at maybe if it is it's one full day, and and then you have the ability to call anytime you have a question. Because we're looking at two different positions that there are with you, okay? Because the key is we need somebody else in the office too. That one yeah. we're going to hit next, okay? But we wanted to make sure that we're doing everything correctly with what we need with the state. Right. statutes and that so so i think of like taxes or mm -hmm. if you have questions on things like that. i think how many days is she on or well we don't know yet for sure yeah we're not sure um but but i'm just like saying I'm sure. we, we just I'm have sure to get think we need at least three days at least well, three i mean sunny couldn't keep up the way it was then renee i mean renee shaking her head i mean we do need i mean we got a position gone. Mm -hmm. And I know we're going to hire somebody, but that's going to take a while right. to learn. Them. And I mean, uh, I mean we'll, we'll have to check and see what she's got available. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, we've got somebody in mind, but she was checking with the current city where she's at now. They've hired a permanent replacement, and she doesn't know how long she needs to stay on to train that, that replacement. So that's kind of where we're up in the air. We might get a chance to get her, you know, for maybe one day or, or, or possibly two, you know, during this interim and then there'll be somebody else. Well, unfortunately, if she can't do it, I think we've got to go to the league of Minnesota cities mm -hmm. and get somebody down. And if we can't well, continue we'll letting Ryland run the office with Renee, we need right. a city administrator, we need a city mm -hmm. clerk. And we have the ability to use this company as well um, to help us find that person. Actually, this one recommended the person right. that we're talking to right yep. now. Okay, uh, and, and we've had a few brief conversations that there are with her. That's the stipulation factor right now. I think it. we're better off going to the League of Minnesota cities rather than put all our ducks in one basket. That's my opinion. You know, I mean, this, yeah, they recommend called me. And well, I mm -hmm. called you and told you about her. I yeah. Mean, you know, so I mean, yeah, they might know about her, but she was on it too already. Yeah. Well, and, and we we can. There's nothing saying we have to go with that person. But uh, at least the, the, have, motion, like, the motion is to have is, it open so that yeah, we, can so we can get somebody, get somebody for, for that. Okay. So, so. Yes, the more days, the better. Okay. I'm, I'm already getting more and more behind and stacks are piling up on my desk. So. Yeah. Okay. So with the motion that Jim had, do you want to? No, I won't. Not for one day. I'll do it for three days. She's staying. Okay, she then how about if we say up to three days? No, I won't. We need three days. Or mm -hmm. Renee's said, and they're telling us it's piling up. We can't let our city go down because we don't want a League of Minnesota City's got people available all the time. Okay. You know, if this woman can't come, we call the League of Minnesota City mm -hmm. and get somebody in here. Three days are better. So I'm what I'm hearing then is a minimum of three days. Right. Okay. Do you want to um, make yeah. a? So I'll I'll make a friendly amendment to my motion that we bring in a temporary person to fill in um, a minimum of three days per week. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
Okay. All right. So then the the fourth bullet point. We also have another position too that there is for the city administrative assistant too that we need to get in for. What did that one run first? No, this was for um, looking at uh, filling for the open position that there is, but not administrative assistant. This was for city administrator, clerk, whatever that there is. So we also need to, I believe, have a position that's available temporary for somebody to fill in to help Renee now being in the office. Oh, so you're saying so administrative so assistant maybe as a temporary fill to see you understand what I mean? Yep. So I'll let, that was just my thoughts too, because we need somebody in the office for Renee to help. Okay. So what I what I'm hearing your suggestion is bring in somebody that for right now immediately that could fill in the administrative assistant position mm -hmm. while we fill the administrative position, right. ad administrative assistant position. So do you want to make a motion for that? Okay. What is no? So we have the administrative assistant position that's open that was vacated. So what Jim is suggesting is that we bring a temp person in to fill that one until that one gets permanently filled. Okay. I'll make a motion to bring one, one in temporary. Okay. And is that full time temporary? Well, what did the days you think? I don't know. Right now it's a part time position. So, what does our budget say? It's what? What does we, the budget we, allow? We have a full time that we've approved for next year. But for next year, yeah. Do for it. this so year. Let's do it as. as a part time then for a friendly motion that, that would be there for for a part time. I thought we had one more was it filled already. We had already approved one. There was a special project person we never yeah, that's filled. A special, no, yeah, just special project. So this would this would be kind of to build the build a Mary Mary position. Okay. Yeah, temporary filling. Okay, yeah. up to twenty hours a week. Yeah. Okay. Or, yeah. So do I have a second on that? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Assistant. And Renee, can you be available to help interview mm -hmm. for that one? Okay, awesome. All right, so then the last bullet point, um, deputy clerk remuneration. Um, and in, with that one, that's on here because we want to recognize Renee for all the extra burden that she's and, and tasks that she's had put on her since the vacant position. Um, so I, in the end, I, I would like to make a motion that we do a temporary pay increase for Renee per hour of two dollars per hour and have that be retro from the time the um, the city administrator position was vacated and have that last for a month after we get a permanent replacement for the city administrator because Renee's still going to be taking on quite a bit after the fact to help bring that person up to speed as well. Second. Okay, vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. So the last item. No, third. Well, the next one. There's one. Oh. There's, there's two of them. Go ahead. No. <clears throat> so the the third item is the pay increase for John's John Kingsley. And this was already a scheduled pay increase. But I wanted to, I'll make a motion that we move forward on the pay increase. And it's a three and a half percent. It was three and a half, 3.5 percent increase. You have a second on that motion? Yeah, that 
he's owed that or yeah it was already okay. scheduled but yeah that was when would this start or... it was on his uh, <clears throat> anniversary date is when that was set up i believe that sunny had set so i know his anniversary date was coming up i don't know i don't have his record so he started full-time february 1st We had that up. I'm just, it wasn't February 1st. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of. Pardon? February 1st would be his full time start date. But I don't know when he actually started because he started season. Um, I have no problems making a, uh, an amendment to that motion to go back to his start date then of. February to the three and a half percent, make it retroactive. Okay. And second, a second. We said retro to February first. Or his anniversary. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. And now the last one is. Do we vote now? Oh, sorry. Yeah, we need to vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right. So the last one is more for clarification than anything. Because um, I've, I've heard it mentioned and I've seen it in emails that there isn't a chair or vice chair of of a personnel committee or a personnel committee for the city. And there is, it's obvious. I'm chair, you're vice chair. It was in pre a previous meetings when people was were elected assigned. and voted in, that's right. That's right. So I, I don't know where that came from. Um, if I have to make a motion to, to put it in play, no, I think it's just um, it's already in play. I guess it it's, it's just a clarification that uh, we are operating as a personnel committee, doing the the interviews and and moving ahead for replacements of the people in, inside the community. And and it you know as it was stated at one of the most recent council meetings is the personnel committee normally handles all personnel related issues with the personnel uh, and so you've got the committee and the mundane things don't go to the council the council is like mike had mentioned the council definitely does the hiring mm -hmm. the firing things of that nature uh, but there's a personnel committee for well this so. is to bring everything to the to the committee or you know to chamber right so so council can vote on it after we've done the, the background work and yeah. other preliminary work that there is. So, so. Okay. So that was just clarification. I don't think there's a motion there's, to be there's had there's on, that. on that. Um, yeah. I just want to be clear there is a personnel committee. Because I was I've heard a couple times now that there's not and there's or that there's not a chair or a vice chair, and there is. Okay, so um with that the next item on the agenda i make a motion to adjourn is there a second second all in favor aye aye, aye. meeting adjourned yep. about 30 nice and quick